Uh, well, I don't know about good solutions, uh, but... After qualifying for my second CrossFit Games in 2015 and making huge improvement at the Games, finishing ninth overall, uh, I got a chance to move abroad, coach and train more professionally. I decided to take that chance and moved to Dubai, uh, UAE. I coached and lived there for two and a half years and afterwards moved to Switzerland and lived there for three more years. I really enjoyed my time in both countries and uh, learned a lot and had good times and the best thing, best takeaway was that I uh, found my dream partner Emilia on that trip. Fast forward to 2021, we decided it was time to go back home and move back to Finland and start building our base here in Espo. And this is where we've been for the past three years now. And yeah, I'm excited to see what the future has in store. What's up? Off-season off training. Off training's going good. It's pretty much exactly how it looks like during the winter. Plenty of skiing for, for zone two training. Especially this winter, I'm preparing for Birkan uh, Hita. It's gonna be this Sunday. It's 90K. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do classic. So that's why I've been doing classic uh, style for this winter. And uh, it's just a challenge that I've wanted to do for a long time. It's almost like a family tradition in our family. My father has done it, my um, grandfather has done it, and yeah, now it's my turn to do it. And I'll really uh, try to beat their times, obviously, and uh, yeah, carry on the, the tradition. Yeah, it just happens to be at the same time as the first open week, but you know, it's nothing we're not prepared for. I think CrossFit prepares us for everything and I'm, you know, just kind of want to see how how I stack up with uh, longer endurance events as well. It's one of the last skiing sessions for the winter. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been good. Get to do plenty plenty of training outdoors and enjoy the the crispy weather. Welcome to our home. Uh, it's Sunday after the last open workout. Uh, so now we're, we're just chilling. Sunday is usually our rest day. And actually, to be honest, I'm in much need of, need of a proper rest day. My quads are you know, more, more sore than they've been since I can't even remember the last time it's been this sore. So I can definitely say I gave it my all on the last one. Uh, now we're just waiting for tomorrow to see see how the leaderboard shakes off. Sunday sometimes, maybe once a month, it's a steak day. So I went to the store and bought some uh, good meat, which I have in uh, in uh, sous vide, uh, boiling there, uh, 54 degrees, so medium rare. It's going to be there for an hour, and then we're going to prepare some potatoes and uh, salad uh, while while the steaks in the bath. Tell me a bit about She's your laughing now. Um, I do probably prepare most of the food in the house. Am I right? 50-50. Uh, 
Okay, 64. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bias, like in, in general, it's pretty basic, I would say. There's no fancy stuff going on every day. It's this more like special occasion now, celebrating the end of the Open. But yeah, normally it's steak and vegetables, rice and, um, you know, potatoes for carbs and, and pasta. Uh, just plenty of chicken and, and uh, meat uh, for protein. Usually we try to cook like one bigger meal for for the week and then maybe a couple a little bit smaller ones. Like I really struggle to eat the same food for multiple days in a row. She could eat the same thing for, for the whole week, but I can't. So uh, that's maybe why I also cook more uh, than she does. But yeah, in, in general, it's very, very basic. Um, like home home food, try to keep it healthy uh, and then top it with some maybe un, unhealthy candies every now and then to and like liquid energy to uh, get the necessary uh, energy in. But yeah, the food we eat is we try to keep it uh, like clean and, and healthy and more, most importantly uh, tasting good. So that's the, the number one thing. Yeah, I'm gonna take the dog outside for a walk now and, and then finish with the food. So this little one here is called Peppi. She's two and a half years old now. She's our first dog. Very, uh, very similar to its owners, full of energy and loves to play and strong as strong as hell. Uh, it's perfect companion for us to uh, you know spend more time outside and we basically take her with us everywhere we go like you see her at the gym uh, almost every session we do at the gym and then wherever we go hiking or uh, traveling we usually take her with us except abroad but um, yeah strong Staffy girl. You never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> she always goes crazy when she sees the ball. Ah. Yeah, that is apple. Oh. Beppe, and I'm out of it. Kumpi. Actually, fuck this. Wrong pan. So, here we have it. These have been in their own bath for two hours now. So they, sh they should be throughoutly cooked to medium rare. So we're now uh, just gonna sear the surface. So make the pan really hot and then get a nice golden brown sear. Almost seared. Then, last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna let the pan cool off a little bit, then add some butter, some more um, rosemary, and garlic. 
get like a nice good flavor. Tea tender for tonight. All right, now we're ready to uh, ready to eat. Chimichurri. Bon appetit. It's good. It's good. Games open. 